here in Valencia to do some uh, testing in the 458 Challenge cars. Um, we're here with some of Kessel's sort of regular Ferrari clients and uh, we want to show them around the track and also develop a little bit of the 458. Um, first time here, this is a legendary MotoGP track. A lot of championships have gone down here. Behind me is the podium where they all stand. It's pretty cool. Um, my brother and I spent probably like an accumulation of a year of time of going around this track in a game called GTR2. Um, so it's pretty cool to actually be here, at least from the video games, from what I've experienced. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I can't wait to get out there, can't wait to do some laps in the 458. And uh, yeah, let's go for a ride. Good. Very good. <laughs> One lap of 44 is what? second lap, best lap of 41. Yeah. <laughs> it's day two here in Valencia. We had to skip day one because this camera was in use in one of the other cars. We were doing quite well yesterday. My co-driver was in the 141s. So today's mission is actually to see if we can break the 40s. Can we get into the 39s? So here comes our competition check. You're on the wrong bit, mate. The session is done. I was driving and we went Eight tenths quicker than we did yesterday, which is pretty cool. And uh, now my co-driver's in the car. Because it's the first session of the day, we just want him to get back into the rhythm, feel the car, not worry too much about lap time. So we're already into the 39s and it's the morning of day two. I need a set of new tires, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're going out again on new tyres. Still morning session. Let's see if we can break 39. Co-driver had a bit of a moment which I think affected confidence. So we didn't quite get into the 39s again. Now he's going to come in, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a pep talk and then send him out for another 2-3 laps. It's quite interesting how personally, when, when you are trying to help one of your drivers improve, um, it becomes almost like you yourself are trying to improve. You take it personally. And uh, you know, watching my driver today, this morning, and uh, seeing him do well and then have a bit of a mistake, it's almost like I'm in the car doing those things. It's so strange. 39.9. Giving him a bit of a mental reset definitely helped. We had to tune the driver's mind. Morning sessions are done now. Oh, sorry. sorry. We're now walking to lunch. Yes, Franziska, what's your position? Director <laughs> of marketing at uh, Kessel Racing. She's responsible for um, the look and feel of everything at Kessel. She's been here the whole weekend. I don't know how she does not get bored, frankly. Because look, it's a ghost town. There's no one here. Look at all those spectators. drivers have lunch we are changing the brake pads full carbon and uh, not cheap every day we use a new set every day we also um, watch some videos and then make some notes of the track which I have here as you can see just giving advice and feedback to the driver so that he knows what to work on in the next session Since we are 
achieved our goals early this morning, already banging in a 39 before the day had even got started. Um, we're now do doing the last session, which is just for fun. So my co-driver is just going to go out and enjoy himself. The reason we're here in the first place, besides doing good laps, is to have fun. And uh, so far it's been a really awesome two-day test. This track has been amazing. It's like a go-kart track for fast cars. And uh, honestly, I could just lap here every single day for the rest of my life.